to the full octane garage. Uh, series two in Jeep Wrangler ownership. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to remove the, what are we going to call those? The, the driver's side and passenger side rooftop. Things. Right. It's a, this Jeep comes with a complete hard top and these are separate sections that are removed over the driver and passenger. Yeah, there's three sections. There's one for the trunk and um, back seat and then two for the passenger and drivers. All right, let's check it out. All right, how to introduce you guys. This is Locko. Say hi, Zlocko. Hi. Hello. This is uh, the light guy. The light guy. <laughs> yeah, the horrible light guy. <laughs> also known as Elvis from the Golden Drive. Check out his channel. Mm. I'm sure there will be a link below somewhere. Oh, I, hopefully. I, I, I don't have a channel. <laughs> you need to start a channel, a Jeep channel. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, so we're going to take off uh, the two little tops here. All right, so first step is to put the visors down, so both sides down. Um, you're going to unclip it slightly. Do you do the passenger side first always? Does it uh, matter? Uh, when you take them off completely, you just want to generally unhook everything first. Okay. Um, so you're going to unhook this. Um, and then there's these, you can also unhook this side too. So pop this out just a little bit. Pull that up. Um, after that. There's these little notches all around the Jeep that actually helps uh, seal it in and keep it down. So you just got to turn it. Turn it. And you got to... Do you care if I cuss? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> unhook that one. I'm going to unhook this one here. Do we already do this one right? I know we did. So unhook that. I assume there's one over my head. Yep. And just... All right. Good, so we have all these little notches around. So one, two, three, four. Unhook that notch. Recapping on the visor, little notch here, make sure these are out too. Uh, the last thing before you can remove the rooftops is uh, right above me to behind me, there's a little screw, it's like a little pin that goes up into the roof. You're gonna unscrew that. So loosen it up. This is a pain, because you gotta sit here and do this all day. <laughs> Yeah, do you want to do this as well? Yes, so you can go ahead and screw that one too. So, yeah. It's really awkward. I don't know why. So, this is a two man job, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. If you want to get it done quick. Alright, so, yeah, out comes this little part that screws in and it tightens up to the back part. So, we have everything nice and laid out. Um, the only thing we got to do now is just to remove the rooftops. All right, just to walk through it again, we uh, opened the two clamps on the front and then we flipped all those levers 90 degrees yeah. that go around. So there's four levers. One. Right. Yeah. And then you unscrew the two pieces that go up through the roof. Yeah, there's two pieces right here. All right. Unscrew those. So those are the three steps. Okay. All right. All, all right. right. All right. So we're going to store these pieces in the armrest. Uh, so right in here. Bam, there it is. Yeah, right. Okay, go ahead. All right, so every time you remove this, um, you want to remove the driver's side first uh, because it's, it's a, uh, what do you call it? So, there's a lip, it overhangs the other one? Correct, so if you, if you were to lift the passenger side one first, it would lift both of them at the same time. And you probably don't want that. It could fall over, scratch your, scratch your hood, all kinds of crazy stuff. So one hand in, uh, in, in the Jeep, one hand over. You're going to make sure it's nice and balanced when you push it up. That's up so crazy. Just like that. I kind of rested on my shoulders. This is the pain in the ass part. Is it heavy? Oh, yeah. That's that's kind of crazy because your, your arms are on either side of that support beam now. Correct. And so uh, later on, I'll show you where they store this little top. So the other side, same thing. This side, pop it up. it on here. I'd rather rest on a plastic here than over here. This is paint. You probably don't want to scratch that up. Good point. So pull it up over and then I'll show you guys where we're going to store these rooftops. All right. All right. So where to put the rooftops. Um, there's a little bag that they give you when you purchase a Jeep. Um, I don't know if you get pre-owned. I don't know if they give you that, but they do you buy a new one. Um, what you're going to take is it's shaped to the rooftop, so what you don't want is the rooftops to be touching each other like this when you put them in the sleeve. So 
Make sure they're not touching like that so you scratch them up. Make sure it's the white, a white piece facing each other. Um, so if you come over here, um, you'll see that the bag... It's got separate sleeves. Well, it's got a divider in it. So right. it's a cloth divider between them. So okay. Even though, you know, you just don't want to put the black, the black piece next to another side. So you want to help me out with this? Yes. All right. Actually, let's just put one part in it and it's fine. <laughs> yeah. All right, so once you put one in, it's really easy to put the other one in. So basically, put the white tips facing each other like we said last time. Slide it in. I'm going to go ahead and say that anything that you take off this Jeep is a two-person operation. <laughs> just, just to ensure you don't damage the pieces, because it would be real easy to sling something around and bump something and, and scratch them up. Correct. That's why I hate when I have to do And I think it was a real good point of yours. If you're buying a used Jeep um, and it's got a hard top on it, you need to go in and make sure that it's got the storage systems for these things. Uh, Make sure that all the little components come with it in order to the tools in order to take the doors off. Be really disappointed if you bought a new Jeep and it didn't have the a used Jeep and didn't have the tools to take the doors off. Yeah. Not the tops, there's a divider between it so it doesn't scratch. Um, and then after that, go just zip it up. And another thing about this bag that's pretty cool that they did is that you can actually tighten it up behind the two. Back seat seats. What? Alright. Alright, cool. So, another feature of this bag, again, it's when you buy the car. Let me get this bag. I'm gonna slide it in here. There's a strap on it that's gonna loop around the headrest so it stays up. And then I'm gonna loop the other strap to this side. Oh, shoot, that's awesome. Yeah, so it just kind of hangs there and doesn't take up space. Yeah. So now it's locked in. Genius. You literally thought of everything. And we're good to go. All right, well that will cover taking the, we're going to call them T-tops, removable tops off the passenger and driver's side for the Jeep. When you have a hard top on a 2017 uh, Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, I don't know how far that goes back where it shares the same top, but I imagine yeah. it's probably good for the last few years. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess something else I would have to bring up that I've observed is there's no security for this. When you take these <laughs> things off, you have, I don't know what those cost, but you better have an idea about where you're going to put them besides hanging them behind the Jeep unless you're going to be with the Jeep all the time. I'll bet yeah. that's a pretty high rate of theft mm -hmm. item so, right there. So, but that will cover how to remove the tops on the Jeep. We appreciate you watching. Um, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up. Destroy that like button. <laughs> Destroy. Leave the comments. <laughs> leave the comments down below. Uh, share with your friends. Check out our Instagram and Facebook. And uh, if you don't mind, check out our friend <laughs> Elvis's uh, The Golden Drive. Yeah, the uh, he's got an awesome channel. Really bad. He was on Car Throttle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thanks for joining us at the Full Octane Garage. I will be back with another video about Jeep soon. All right. Have a good Bye. day. Bye. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So it stays up. Ow, shit. Sorry. Just hit my head on that. What does it call this? What is That's it? an armrest. Oh, but what is it? It's <laughs> huh? You just call, you put it in the armrest? Is that what you say? Uh, when you're starting it off, always put these down. What is this called? Visor. Visor. <laughs> <laughs> I always